Welcome back. I'm Jonas. I'm Jackie. And this is part two of our five-part series that we're doing on belly fat, the, the belly fat problem that so many of us seem to be struggling with. Uh, first of all, while we're waiting on more people to join us, I'd kind of like to, well, what I want to do is thank you so much, express my gratitude for the overwhelming you know, response we got to our video yesterday. I knew I was not alone. I knew there were people out there like me, but I had no idea how many people uh, out there were like me. And, and thank you for your responses and your heartfelt messages and uh, comments. It's, it's good to know we're not alone because when you're isolated, it's hard to fight. But we can fight this and we need to empower ourselves with knowledge and, um, and support. We need to support one another. But, you know, so the big thing about belly fat was that it was different in kind, right, from any other area of the body. But what we want to focus on today is that if you have this visceral fat accumulating within your gut, it can actually be very dangerous. And that's what I'm going to talk about today, how dangerous the visceral fat in your belly can become. Um, I'm going to start off with a little bit of my story. Um, you know, I was very healthy through my adult years. Um, I was able to go back and maintain my weight after each of my children. As I got close to 40, I started gaining just a little bit of weight each year. You know, three, four pounds a year, it kind of crept up, you don't really notice. Um, and then about four years ago, um, I separated from my ex-husband and we went through a divorce. Um, so the few years leading up to that were incredibly stressful. Obviously, you know, our marriage was deteriorating um, and the weight was coming on faster. And then right before that, I'd had an injury and was on crutches and had a foot in a boot for a long time and couldn't really do a lot and added even more pounds. Um, so <laughs> I ended up Ending, ended up weighing about 180 pounds. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4. Yeah. So 180 pounds is a lot on my frame. Um, it, was, it was embarrassing for me having maintained this healthy weight my adult life. Um, my sister was getting married that summer and I had to go buy a dress for her wedding. And I just remember being in tears because. I hated the way I looked in every single dress I tried on, you know. Um, so that summer, I went for my annual physical at the doctor, and the doctor said, so, you've gained some weight. Yeah, had a rough time, and he's like, well, you're pre-diabetic. You are borderline diabetic. Um, How did it make you feel when he, he told you that? That was scary. That was scary to know that that weight that was creeping up is now causing a real health issue. Um, you know, as a mom, I want to be healthy. I want to be there for my children. Um, and now in the middle of this divorce, my boys needed me to be there and be healthy now more than ever. And now, you know, the doctor's telling me, oh, you're going to get sick. Um, so he said, you know, we can either put you on medication or you can try and take care of this. Um, and before we were doing this, we were doing some research on some more articles about belly fat and visceral fat. And, you know, we learned another thing today that visceral fat almost acts like its own hormonal gland. Mm -hmm. They consider it a part of the endocrine system. It's such a powerful hormonal agent. And, and it is what causes that insulin resistance. It's what causes you to get pre-diabetic. It's the visceral fat, not the subcutaneous fat that you carry around your hips, but the, the fat that's inside. Um, that same doctor's appointment, he said, oh, and by the way, you have high cholesterol. We're gonna put you on cholesterol medicine. And I did not want to. I absolutely was like, no, any other, what are the other options? I don't want to be on medicine for the problem. I want to fix the problem. Um, and he said, you will have to lose some of the weight. And so, you know, I, I, I did that. 
Um, what did you do? Uh, buckled down and changed, cleaned up my diet. You know, when you're stressful, it's very easy just to go pick up fast food every night. Um, so I went back to what I did before when I was at my healthy weight, making healthy family dinners. Um, but that visceral fat, um, studies have shown, is also the cause of things like high cholesterol. Um, it's actually the cause of a lot of dangers. Heart disease, mm -hmm. stroke, colorectal cancer, and breast cancer, um, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, it, a whole host of maladies, medical maladies that we don't want. You know, and so, and, you know, then another problem you have is, so God gave us visceral fat in our middle, right? He gave us this to cushion our organs. I mean, they need something soft around them. Um, just like women, when we are pregnant, we have water in our uterus to protect our baby. Um, but if we have too much visceral fat, then it's starting, instead to cushion our organs, now it's starting to squeeze and compress our organs. Remember, the visceral fat is the stuff on the inside, inside the abdominal wall. So it's in an enclosed space and there's only so much room there. So you're gonna start noticing things like shortness of breath. Um, maybe when you've been down and tie your shoes, you're going to get lightheaded, yeah. So, you know, you guys, if you've noticed any of this, I mean, like, if you hate going to the doctor because he's told you, you know, your, your sugar's out of control, your cholesterol's out of control, um, drop a note, high blood pressure, drop a note, tell us, say, yes, we're, we're having health issues because of this. Um, you're not alone. You're not alone. Um, we're, you know, we've been there. Um, so, you know, what I really want you to remember is we are parents. All of us middle-agers, most of us are parents. Um, it's important for us to get the health problems under control because we have to take care of our kids. And some of us are gonna be taking care of our aging parents. So you've got two sets of people to take care of. You gotta take care of your parents as they age and your children. And if your health is also in danger, how are you gonna be able to do that? Yeah, so where exactly do we go from here? We've, we've discussed kind of what the problem is, why belly fat is particularly different, um, how it can become dangerous. Where do we go from here? Well, tomorrow we are going to talk about some specific ways to measure and know whether or not your belly fat has gotten to a point where it is dangerous. Yeah. So we need to know if we have the problem. And most of us watching this probably already know, but we'll give you some objective measurements to tell, and then we can try to figure out how to deal with it. But we can't deal with it until we know what it is and if it's affecting us, and likely it is. So come back and join us tomorrow. Same time, 1.30, same kitchen. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Again, it's this is part two of a five-part series, and it all builds on each other, so please do join in each time. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow.